In this video, I want to share with you the six secrets, six secrets that's going to transform your public speaking skills from mundane to mesmerizing. My name is Jimmy Cannon. I'm a voice coach and leadership coach, and I help people find confidence through the power of their voice to communicate their message with authenticity. Check out my videos, subscribe, like, join my mailing list if you want to work with me one-to-one -one or with your team please get in touch. So what are the six secrets to creating a much more engaging, more powerful voice? I hear you cry. Well, number one is volume and particularly varying the volume. Studies show that 75% of listeners perceive speakers who use varied volume in their speech much more engaging. A friend of mine speaks so quietly that you can hardly hear what he's saying. But when we're in a group talking and he speaks this sort of volume like this, everybody leans in, everybody is listening to very intently to every word that he says. Unfortunately, he speaks at the same volume all the time. So everybody has to really, really concentrate. And it's quite a lot of energy to listen to him speak. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to speak quietly everywhere you go. Obviously, people wouldn't hear you all the time. However, having control over your volume will be a great tool to capture people's attention. Theodore Roosevelt said, speak softly and carry a big stick. You will go far. So this is to illustrate that a leader should appear to be calm and non-threatening while simultaneously maintaining the ability to exert overwhelming power when necessary. Imagine practicing speaking in your normal voice like I'm doing now, but then going down to a much more controlled and dynamic, more definitive, quieter voice like this to really get your point across. This brings me to my next point, which I talk about quite a lot, which is number two, which is pace. Now, studies show that listeners retain only 20% of the information that is being delivered if the speaker speaks too quickly. Most of my clients speak far too quickly. We all speak far too quickly. So practice slowing down the pace. Now, again, if you're speaking far too slowly, that's going to bore people as well, and people are likely to fall asleep. But if you vary the pace, so here's a little trick. Before you get to the nugget of information that you want to deliver, so that might be getting to the nub of the matter by slowing down, pausing a little bit, and then emphasizing a couple of words to emphasize the message. Number three is pitch. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, what a fantastic name, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow said, the voice is the organ of the soul. And 60% of effective communication is down to non-verbal communication, such as the pitch of your voice. Now, if you're someone that speaks in a very monotone, monosyllabic, very deliberate, one tone, one pitch, one volume all the time. Thank you very much for coming. I like to talk about the ROI again. That's going to be very, very boring. and People are going to tune out if we vary the pitch a little bit. Now, we've got a lot more vocal range that we can access. Now, here's a really, really easy, quick exercise that you can do. I want you to hum. Start very low. And then go up in pitch very slowly. Now, you might be able to go higher. You might even be able to go lower. That's fine if you can't, or you're fine if you can. Now, we are mainly, as men, if you like, women are going to be higher, men are going to be lower. I'm going to be lower than women, obviously, not all the time. We are, we cross over in our vocal range. However, we're not, not going to that too much. We are using probably 20% of our chest voice, and that's just one vocal register that we can access. We're using a very small chunk of that when we speak. So by expanding our range, our pitch range of our voice, we can be much more expressive in our delivery, much more engaging to our audience. This brings me into my next technique or method, punctuation or emphasis or accent. So by accenting words or even syllables, 
by let's just take the word punctuation. Punctuation. Using punctuation. Using punctuation. Using punctuation. Imagine the myriad of options and alternatives you can use to accent and punctuate your message. In comparison to a run-on sentence, which is just purely one pace, no accents particularly at all, I'm just speaking at one pace, as, as opposed to speaking with punctuation, with emphasis and accent on the correct words, and also syllables, is going to be much more effective in your presentation, much more effective in your speech much more effective in your pitch. A well-timed pause can make your message 30% more memorable. So see what I'm doing there? I'm thinking about where I need to pause. So what's the important information? The important information is that is the 30%. So well-timed pause can make your message 30% more memorable. So I'm pausing before the data. A well-timed pause can make your message 30% more memorable. Now, I would practice and practice and practice that. So, for instance, a well-timed pause can make your message 30% more memorable. One way to, to pause more effectively is to take a breath. So I'm going to take a breath before the first section. A well-timed pause can make your message 30%, then take a breath there, 30% Hold the breath, more memorable. So keep the breath flowing. So we're going to take a breath. A well-timed pause can make your message, breathe, 30% more memorable. Number six is resonance. Now we can use resonance as a tool to create a much more authoritative sounding voice. So if you have a very thin sounding voice and you're speaking from here, uh, or maybe in the nasal passages here, maybe that's that sound, your sound, or you know someone, that sounds like that. That can be that can be changed. We can open up the resonant areas. There are I've got loads of videos on this. Have a look around my channel. And if you want something specific, let me know in the comments, and I will send you a link to a particular video that you would like to work on or, or would perhaps help you. So anyway, there are lots of resonant seven actually main resonant areas, and these are chest, rib cage, throat or vocal tract, oral cavity, nasal passages, and the head cavity. Now, using all of these areas can give you a very, very different sound to your voice. And that's not going to give you authority, obviously. But if you focus on mainly giving a more open chest resonance, really open, warm-sounding voice, that's going to resonate, if you like more trust. Now, I've done a lot of research on this, and 85% of leaders with resonant voices appear more trustworthy to their peers than other speakers that have monotone voices or just plain speaking voices. So think about using different areas of resonance. Now, if you want to work with me on exploring all of these things, now, what have we talked about? We've talked about volume, pitch, pace, not necessarily in this order, resonance and pause. These six areas of voice communication will absolutely increase your communication effectiveness. If you'd like to work with me one-to-one -one on this, then please do get in touch. My details are in the comments. Speak soon.